What if I told you I just need my indoor cycling setup even simpler? No more shifting, no more derailers, just a single cog and two buttons. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it from concept to completion. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jeff and I've been working with my luge for the past three and a half, almost four years now. I'm typically the man behind the camera and not in front of it anymore. So you've seen the podcast that we do with Matt and Cy, I help produce those. Um, all of our event coverage, all the videos that you see on the road, some of the tutorials, the shoots with Todd A and Peter. So that's me. I'm the guy typically behind the camera. This is a fun one to make because it started out as just like a random idea with 4.0 release. You know, I was going through the release notes and I saw virtual shifting and I thought, man, that's actually gonna be a really cool one because my wife and I, we have two different bikes. And that's when it hit me. After speaking with Rod and Matt a little bit on the functionality of virtual shifting when I was in office not too long ago in Abu Dhabi, they said, yep, you can tap on the screen. You can also do keyboard inputs. At the time I was like, great, this is gonna go into the tutorial footage. Uh, I need to go ahead and mark that down. But once I got home from that trip and I really started to test the 4.0 on beta, can my keyboard connect to my iPad? And yeah, it can. And can I virtual shift from the keyboard? Yeah, I can. Okay, how can I go and build buttons to emulate this? And that's how we got here. So with a lot of help from ChatGPT, uh, yeah, I was able to make two keyboard buttons, basically Bluetooth keyboard buttons, and that's it. So the base of it is this. It consists of the single speed cog kit, which you can get on Amazon or anywhere pretty cheap for about 20 to $30, depending on where you live. However, with the cog that comes with it, you cannot use it as it's designed for single speed chains. So I just took a 17 tooth cog from an old cassette that I had laying around and threw that on, works perfect. The second part of this is this, the ESP32 board. Now, after chatting extensively with ChatGPT, he said, this is the one that I need. And what this can do is emulate a keyboard. So you can program it to do any type of keystrokes or whatever you want. And it's also equipped with Bluetooth. So the iPad and my MacBook can pick it up and register it as such. And on top of that, I needed some keyboards, but I don't want to use keyboards. So I found some momentary switches that have a really nice tactile feel and they have some sticky adhesive on the back so I can go ahead and stick them on my shifter or wherever I wanted to use them. From there again, it was another deep dive in with ChatGPT and I asked him for all the instructions on how to program this. I don't come from a hardware background. I come from a cycling background, my whole professional career. So I actually had no idea what I was getting into when I started this or if it would even work. So I started off with ChatGPT, what software do I need to program this thing? Then it went ahead and told me, go and download Arduino. So I download Arduino for free, get it on my computer, and then ChatGPT spits out a code. Copy and paste that code into Arduino, upload it to the ESP32 board. And it was honestly that simple. It's, uh, I thought it was gonna be a heck of a lot more technically inclined than that, but it really wasn't. It was actually really easy peasy. So if you're a really good DIYer or you just want something to fun and tinker around with, this is a really cheap and inexpensive way to do it. I think all in with the single tooth cog kit, I'm about 80 euros and yeah, I love it. However, there is a con with this setup. If you're in a group ride, if you're doing one of the awesome cafe rides we have with Peter or Todd A, you will not be able to use the chat box function uh, with your native keyboard because this is overriding it. I haven't tested it with MacBook or with PC. Maybe you can have you know two keyboards running at the same time, uh, but for iPad, completely locked out. Once this is hooked up, those are the only key functions that you have. So you can pull up the chat box, but there's no keyboard that comes up there with it. So kind of a downside. For me, it doesn't really matter. I don't get to do those rides with Tade and Peter. I'm the one filming it for all of you to enjoy. Um, but for most of you out there who are gonna do that or do free ride and do some chats in there, kind of a buzzkill. So that's it, everybody. That's how I did it. Mystery solved. I see some of you guys are getting some Bluetooth button to work with PC and stuff. Uh, as before said, I'm on Mac, so everything I have is Mac and that simply won't work. But uh, good luck to everybody finding devices. I hope that our team is working on some buttons here soon. Uh, it's easier said than done, of course, producing a product like that from scratch. But yeah, hopefully this helped you. Hopefully if you want to tinker around, you'll have fun doing it. Thanks for watching.